Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So, a couple problems that we run into whenever we're keeping pigs is we end up with a mess. And uh, sometimes that's on the pigs, sometimes it's on the people. So, uh, today we've got some cleaning up that we need to do. We've been moving some pigs around, got them in some different spaces. We've got some equipment and supplies and that kind of thing left behind. So we need to get all that picked up, cleaned up, get everything looking kind of nice. Um, and we've also got some holes that we need to deal with. Um, you know, those pigs leave them in a the spot for too off long, and uh, they can make a hole big enough to bury a daggone Volkswagen in. So we need to work on some of those. So we've got a little tractor work going on today. So hang out with us on the farm for a little bit. Uh, we've got some work to get done. Sometimes the uh, greatest source of my frustration <clears throat> is my own laziness. So I tried to just, had these panels leaned up against the tree, just tried to bring the forks in here, kind of scoop under them and flip them back. Well, that didn't work. They got all tangled in with each other and the uh, holes got caught up in the forks. And so I think I got them on here. They're just heavy and hard to deal with. Got my hand caught in them. Frustrating. Been better off just to pull them up here, laid them over one at a time. Just took my time and done it neatly. Now I got this mess that I'll have to deal with. So just take your time. Spilled them. So another little issue that we run into whenever we leave pigs on a spot longer than we should and they were here on this area this is the this is the paddock where all the girls farrowed and gave birth but a problem that we run into whenever we leave them on a spot too long is we end up getting a lot of these potholes and some of these can get pretty big and over on my side of the property um, we're standing over on the lease side right now um, since this is lease property i'm gonna take the box blade and we're gonna work on these a little bit try to fill them in just kind of smooth them out a little bit this this field here in the past has been used for uh, row crops so if somebody were coming in here and we're gonna 
plow it up and do rows i mean it wouldn't be you know probably would be okay but again you know we want to be a good good steward of the land and uh we're gonna work on filling in a couple of these holes here so we'll take the box blade i'm gonna flip the rippers over um got the rippers up right now so we're gonna flip them down and so we can uh dig up a little dig up a little bit of dirt and uh, see if we can't get those filled in and smooth them out a little bit Working on this box blade, getting ready to uh, fill these holes in. And got some company coming over to check me out, see what I'm doing. It's not pretty, um, but we got that uh, little mud puddle kind of cleared out. Fill back in with a little bit of dirt. Um, quite frankly, I don't have a whole lot of experience using a box blade. And sometimes the only way to use a box blade is just to put it on the tractor and go start digging some dirt. So this does look a little bit better. Uh, my camera died on me up here on the first one that we worked on. I think I got it filled in pretty good. Let's take a look at it and see. I was able to pull some dirt from over here on this side, kind of pull it over and fill in this biggest hole that they had made. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. I mean, it's just, again, this is just an old field. Um, we'll either run pigs back across here or somebody will come in here later on and we'll do some row crops, but got this hole filled in, had another hole over here got those filled in they're looking pretty good so that was worked out okay again not a lot of experience with the box blade but uh you know got to get out and practice with it a little bit so a couple other things we've got some of these tire feeders laying around we're gonna get them picked up get them taken back up to uh staging where we keep all of our feeders and fence and supplies and that kind of stuff it's not a very pretty area but you just got to have a space to keep all your stuff so we're gonna get these uh Tire feeders got a couple of old uh, barrel drinkers. We'll get them picked up, get them put up there, and uh, that'll probably be it. I guess pretty close to done. So let's get this stuff picked up.
that's why we're out and about we are in the process of two different pig catching projects uh, right now the first one being this last group of feeders we've got six feeders and these guys are going to the butcher um, in two days so we have pulled their big bulk feeder out and it's over here i don't know if you can see it through the woods right there it's over there with our little guilt group right now where hamlet is and we have been feeding these guys up in the catch pen and up in the trailer um so we had a couple bowls of feed in here earlier this evening it looks like they've cleaned them out yeah that one's empty this one over here is empty I have someone following me and then we've also got a feeder up in the trailer now it's pretty easy to tell that they have been in the trailer as evidenced by the streak of mud down the side because when we come back from processing we always jump in here and we wash everything down real good because these trailers um, if you don't wash the manure and the mud and the dirt and the urine and all that kind of stuff out it will get down in these cracks along the sides and it will rust your trailers out so if you've got a, a steel stock trailer uh, keep that in mind anytime you get back from moving animals around really need to jump up in them hose them down real good if you've got a pressure washer that works great but at the very least wash them down scrub them down and uh, wrench cracks out real good this had a little feed in it so they have pretty much wiped that out and got a couple of guys back here at the gate waiting to get in so this project seems to be moving along pretty good the only one that we're really worried about is uh watch out there bud uh we've got this one red pig left that was born here on the farm this is him laying right here beside the fence he is uh he's the smart one of the bunch he doesn't want to go in that catch pen and he does not want to go up in that trailer whatsoever so trying to give him as much time as we can trying to uh take advantage of the hungry stomachs so middle of that project now we'll keep you posted on that we'll do another video on loading we're going to probably try to load them tomorrow night so we'll uh we'll try to catch some of that footage and see how that goes last time we've done this worked out great so we'll see how she rolls this time our other pig catching project right now is related to these uh, piglets that are on little mama they are definitely old enough to be weaned now and we have a customer that uh, is buying three of the girls I think we mentioned this the other day we've moved our piglet catch pen setup uh, over here we've done it just a little bit different than we have in the past um, show you what we're doing with this been trying to get the piglets to come in here and eat in this uh, kind of vestibule or foyer area I guess you could say and uh, we had been having all kinds of trouble getting them to come in here until today we elected not to feed the sows big mama and little mama so we didn't feed them this morning came out this evening and we put a little bit of feed over in here stepped away waited for a little while and sure enough those piglets came in here and started eating that's the first time we've seen them up in this catch pen and i've been about to absolutely lose my mind worried about getting these piglets caught because i got a customer uh waiting on these pigs so we got to get them we got to get them caught up so we can get them delivered so earlier today um we did feed just the piglets in this little open area here what we're going to do we're going to get them in here feeding we'll come around to the side we will close we'll close up here one of these panels will pull them together we will run the piglets over through this little cut right here we'll move this panel in then we've got them in a real nice tight small area where we can just work them back up into our box so that's the plan we all know what they say about best laid plans so uh, we'll see how this uh, flushes out tomorrow got a couple days we're going to keep working with them get them used to coming up in this area and eating so that we can transition them up into that box so we're getting into uh, heat of the summer um, getting down towards the end of June July is coming it's getting hot here in central North Carolina and uh, you know the work never stops 
got a lot of work to do on these pigs um, trying to get some breeders um, rebred um, you know we showed the other day we've got the boars in with our last group of sows that fared earlier in the spring so I think that we've got some of those that are about that are taken probably starting to settle so we're going to continue to watch them we'll leave those boars in for a while I had a question the other day are we going to leave the boars in during farrowing I've been reading up on that a little bit and it sounds like some folks will leave the boars in while they farrow um, the boars can be good protectors and good caregivers uh, along with the sows so we're, we may try them we may see how that ends up working out we'll be farrowing coming up sometime probably november or excuse me end of october into the first of november we'll just see how all those how those dates end up working out so but anyway got some stuff picked up today um it's been a mess you know whenever you got stuff moving and you're trying to get things done it's easy to just leave a, a tire feeder or a drinker or whatever just laying in the field and not get it picked up so glad we got that stuff cleaned up but anyway i think that's going to do it i'm going to post a link to a couple other videos over here some other stuff we got going on if you've not hit that subscribe button hit subscribe follow along with us we appreciate y'all watching we'll see you on the next video thanks